Hey guys, this is Jason with Metro Tech Automotive. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to apply the paint fabric protection products. Step one, let's apply the fabric protection. Start with your safety gloves. Let's make sure we roll the windows down in the car. Now you got two choices, your traditional spray bottle or your pump sprayer. Either device you like, make sure you set it to a really fine mist. All right, first things first, we're going to take our mats out of the car and spray our mats down. We spray our mats first so they'll have enough time to dry. You want to make sure you get a nice, even, consistent coverage of the mats. Next up, we're going to spray our carpets. Remember, nice, even, and consistent. All over our carpets, making sure we get underneath the seats there as well. And wipe off any excess to get any on any plastic trim. One important thing to remember, do not spray the seat belts. No seat belts. Now on a full cloth interior, you want to make sure to spray the entire seat. Nice, even and consistent. Making sure you get good even coverage. Wipe off any excess that you may get on any seat belt buckles. Next up, we'll spray our carpets. Nice even coverage. Make sure to get the sides of the seat. Then again, we can wipe off any excess. Very, very important. Don't forget to move the seats forward and back. This way you can spray nice and evenly on the back of the seat. This also gives you access to the center back of the center console. It gives you access to underneath the seats as well. Remember again, move your seat belts out of the way before you start spraying. And then we'll continue to spray our cloth seats nice and even, consistent. And you got about 30 to 45 minutes for it to dry. Next up, we're going to apply the vinyl and leather conditioner. You can use a microfiber towel or an applicator of your choice. First you want to make sure you saturate your towel pretty good to get the vinyl leather conditioner mixed into the towel. Same with your applicator. Apply to all of your vinyl leather on your door panels. Make sure you're getting it in all the cracks and crevices. This way you're going to get a nice even consistent shine. Make sure you can apply to your dash. Make sure you get all the way down to the front windshield. No steering wheels. We do not apply any vinyl leather conditioner to the steering wheels. Here you'll see, make sure you apply it all nice and evenly into the cracks and crevices of your seats. Make sure to always move your seats. That way this will give you access to the back half of the center console, the armrest, and the back of your leather seats as well. Next up, we're going to apply the exterior protection. I like to use a regular wax applicator, moisten your applicator, work the product into the applicator, that way you get a nice, smooth, consistent finish. You always want to apply to the top surfaces first, and then apply to your sides. Remember, nice and thin coat is all we want here. The thinner the better, actually. Nice and thin. Now, if you apply too much of the product to the car, you may notice a little bit of streaking or hazing when you go to remove the product. A quick fix to that is just take a damp microfiber and that will take the haze and streaks off. And you'll see here I am wiping over the headlights. That is totally fine. Uh, it can go on the headlights. But the main tip you want to remember here is just a nice, thin, even coat. You can apply to the entire car before you go to wipe it off. 
One thing to remember, do not apply it to porous trim or rubber trim, moldings, sunroof moldings. You want to keep it off black plastic trim and rubber moldings. After we've applied to the entire car, now we're ready to take it off. Always make sure you're using clean microfiber towels. It's very, very important. And then it's just an easy wipe off. As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. That way you stay tuned to all the new tips and tricks. Thanks a lot.